Hello, welcome friends. Today I am going to discuss a poem, Christabel, written by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. I am going to discuss the MCQ type questions. These MCQs are without options. I am going directly to the answer for saving the time and those informations, those will help you to find the correct option from the uh, multiple choice. Let's start. Number one information. Christabel is a long narrative ballad by Samuel Taylor Coleridge in two parts. Number two, the first part was reputedly written in 337 lines in 1797. And the second part was published in 1800 edition of uh, Lyrical Ballads. The first edition of Lyrical Ballads was published in 1798. But the second edition of Lyrical Ballad was published in 1800. Number 3. Coleridge prepared for the first two parts to be published in 1800 edition Lyrical Ballads. But on the advice of William Wordsworth, it was left out. Number 4. It was published in a pamphlet in 1816 alongside the other two poems. Those other two poems are Kubla Khan and uh, The Pains of Sleep. It means Christabel, Kubla Khan and The Pains of Sleep were published in 1816 together. These uh, poems are published by Murray, M-U-R-R-Y, Murray, in 1816 on the recommendation of George Gordon Byron. This George Gordon Byron was another romantic poet. Samuel Taylor Coleridge was a romantic poet and he was elder romantic. But this George Gordon Byron was a later romantic or a younger romantic. Number five. The question is, what is the genre of Christabel? The answer is Gothic romance. Number six. Theme of Christabel. What are the themes? The answer is, there are many themes here like mysticism, power of nature, belief that virtue of world like Christabel is always saved from the evil like Geraldine by the grace of God. Number 7. Coleridge aimed to write Christabel using an essential metrical system based on the count of only ascents. Even though the number of syllables in each line can vary from 4 to 12, the number of ascents per line never deviates from 4. Number 8. The question is, what does Christabel mean? The answer is, Christabel is of Latin and French origin. And the meaning of Christabel is beautiful Christian. Medieval coin is from the name of Christ with bell. That means Christ plus bell. Christabel. Use has been primarily literary. As in Samuel Taylor Coleridge's 1816 poem of the same name, in which the heroine is an example of innocent purity. Christ is the symbol of innocent and purity. So, in the poem, the character Christabel is the embodiment of innocence and purity. Next, number 9. Christabel revolves around the juxtaposition of sin or evil versus religiosity or devoutness and sexuality versus purity. Next, number 10. The obvious characters who represent these juxtapositions are Christabel and Geraldine. These are the characters. Christabel represents devoutness and purity and Geraldine represents sin or evil and sexuality. Number 11. Setting. What is the setting of the poem? The answer is England, forest, medieval castle, Cold winter night of April. Here we find the time and setting of the poem. Now informations related to the structure of the poem. Information number 12. Christabel is divided into four parts. Two narrative parts. 
That means two are the main parts and two other conclusive parts. Two narrative parts with a conclusion to each part. That means totally four parts. The four parts differ in structure, tone and purpose, raising many questions as to Coleridge's intentions as he developed the poem. Number 13. Part 1 says mysterious tune tells of Christabel's discovery of Geraldine and their developing relationship. Number 14. The conclusion to the part 1 summarizes the events of part 1 yet offers no actual conclusion. Number 15. Part 2 introduces two new characters and the occurrences of events is now interwoven with Christabel's supernatural visions of Geraldine's changing form. Number 16. The conclusion to part the second is the most discontented section of the poem, offering a whimsical general illustrations of a young child and the struggles that can face the relationship between father and child. Number 17. The lack of cohesion in the four parts of the poem along with inconsistent overall structure in meter, rhyme, and verse raise many important questions for discussion. Now, number 18. The question is, what is the name of the pale woman whom Christabel finds in the forest? Answer is Geraldine. Geraldine was the pale woman whom Christabel found in the forest. Number 19. Question is, which is the supernatural presence other than Geraldine indicated in the poem Christabel? Answer is, though Christabel's late mother is only alluded to in the poem, one still feels her brooding presence throughout. Who is the damsel bride? Answer is, Geraldine. 21. Geraldine is the symbol of what? Answer is wicked, harmful, destructive forces. Number 22. Setting. What is the setting of the poem? Answer is medieval setting. 23. Uh, describe the dog according to the poem. The answer is it was a female mastiff dog that is beach. It was toothless, lived in a kennel. It has the habit of barking with clock, howled four times for quarters and twelve for the hours. Next, twenty-four number. In Christabel, who is Christabel's father? Answer is Sir Leoline. Number twenty-five. What animal represents the Baron's importance? The answer is the Mastiff. The Mastiff dog represents the baron's importance. Number 26. Why does Christabel go into the woods so late at night? The answer is to pray for her distant fiancé. Number 27. What is the only green on the oak tree in Christabel? The answer is moss and mistletoe. Moss and mistletoe. Number 28. It has been argued that Joseph Sheridan Le Fons' 1872 novel. The name of the novel is Carmela. It was published in 1872. Written by Joseph Sheridan Le Fons. This Carmela is a homage or adaptation of Christabel. That means based on or by influenced, influenced by the poem Christabel, this Carmilla was written. Number 29. Whom does Christabel find on the other side of the oak tree? The answer is a pale woman clad in white. Next, number 30. Who left Geraldine beneath the oak tree? Answer is five warriors. 31. According to Coleridge, a good poet is. That means who is a good poet according to Coleridge? The answer is one who may have an object of truth but must have an object of pleasure and who uses separate parts united together 
That means it must have organic unity. The parts united together in judicious combination so as to fulfill both the object of truth and the ultimate requisite object of pleasure derived from the parts as well as from the whole. The man who can accomplish this kind of acts in writing is a good poet according to Coleridge. Number 32. Christabel is betrothed to whom? The answer is a knight. So friends, thank you. In the next video, I will give you more questions like this, informations like this.